way, that way. You are now watching Create a Steady Hustle with Liquid Cash. Play your position in the game of life. On the chessboard, we got pawns, we got queens, and we got kings, we got rooks, and we got knights. Everybody has a position to play. Play your position. The queen is the most valuable piece on the chessboard. She can do every and anything on the chessboard, but the king is the foundation. Once the king is dead, the game is over. Ladies, y'all gotta understand that. The king is the cornerstone of the relationship. When the relationship succeed, it's the man's fault. When the relationship doesn't succeed, it's the man's fault. If the kids are misbehaving and not doing their homework on time, it's the man's fault. Anything that goes on in that household is the man's fault. Because the man sets the rules and the regulation and he sets the tone. So let the man take control and lead peacefully. But man, y'all got to take responsibility for it. It's your fault. If she cheats, it's your fault. No matter what goes on, it's your fault. Because you enable that woman to do these things. You're lacking in some department. There's something lacking in the relationship. That's why she's stepping out and doing what she's doing. You dig? You're allowing her to move in a certain way. You're not creating structure in your relationship. That's why the woman is disobeying you and doing whatever she please. She don't believe in you. And if you find a woman that don't believe in you, go find another one that does. It's time to take accountability for everything that goes on in your household, man. Don't put it on the woman. That's easy. That's, that's a cop out when you put it on a woman, man. If I'm dating a female and she decides to go out there and cheat on me, that's my fault. It's some part of the relationship I was neglecting her and some things that I was doing that she didn't like and I, I didn't listen to her when she was complaining about it. And I didn't fix whatever the problem was. So she decided to step out and do whatever she did. We are co-creators in that event. I take full responsibility for the role that I play in the reason why our relationship didn't work out. I don't get mad and puff and pout about it. I move on to the next. I'm a fly nigga. I can find anything I want to find. Because the power was within me. I'm the plug. You did? I charge her up. I give her the energy that she desires. You feel me? That's just the way I think. That's just me. Some of you niggas don't think that way because y'all lack confidence. Y'all lack certain charisma. Y'all lack certain bravado about yourself. You dig? Y'all just don't have it. I got it. You feel me? So any woman that I get, I'm the plug. I charge her up. She's never going to meet me at my level because no two people evolve at the same time. Every time I meet a woman, I got to raise her vibration to my level. You feel me? Because I'm always climbing and evolving. You feel me? So any woman that I meet, I make sure charge them up and help them raise to my level of vibration. As soon as you decide to say you want to be in a relationship, you got to understand, man, you got to be extremely patient with your partner. Because no two people evolves at the same time, man. You're not going to meet somebody that's going to meet you where you at in life. Because you might be up here, they might be down there. It's okay. You can raise them up to where you need them to be. And if you're looking for the man that reach you up here where you at, good luck. Because that's the type of man you might not like. The nigga that you like is, like I said, an alpha man. He's a lion. He's the king of the jungle. A lot of y'all women like niggas that's the king of the jungle and y'all try to tame him. And y'all get mad why, <laughs> why he's having this one and that one and having fun and enjoying life and doing whatever he wants to do. Y'all getting y'all feelings about it. But you got to get out of your feelings, man. Understand that's the man you chose. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Like I said, go get you a sheep if you feel some type of way, man. It is what it is. We should just experience each other and stop trying to control each other, but we not in a perfect world, so it is what it is. You know what I mean? Should you settle? Nah, you shouldn't settle. Because the nigga you want is out there. You just gotta understand, you gonna have to go through a lot of these motherfuckers in order to find it. What are you willing to give up? How much time are you willing to sacrifice to find that man? 
It's going to take time. It's going to take effort. It's going to take sacrifice. You got to write it out. You got to really map it out. A lot of y'all getting certain type of niggas because y'all are just winging it. There's no planning behind what y'all doing. So you end up getting Tom, Dick, and Harry and all kind of different type of niggas. And you going through all type of shit. They putting you through the ringer because you're really not mapping out. You really don't know the type of man you want. You really don't know what you want. So God gives you anything. The universe just send you whatever. Any type of man that give you attention and make you feel like you that bitch, you settle for that man. And then you realize six months later, that nigga ain't shit. Then you run into another one that's operating the same way. And then you realize he ain't shit either. You ain't taking the time out to work on yourself and map out and figure out what you really and truly want. You got to know what you want, man. You can't put in an order and don't know what you want. When you go to a restaurant, you put in an order, man, you're going to get exactly what you order. It's the same thing when you're choosing a man. Put in a motherfucking order. God is going to give you exactly what you want. You might have to tweak some things. You might have to add a little bit of salt. You might have to add a little hot sauce. You might have to add a little ketchup. It's okay. Because everybody like they shit season a certain type of way. You like your man to be a certain kind of way. You might have to add a little flavor to him. But that's okay. But when God sends you that gift and sends you what you want, you got to know how to recognize it when you see it. Always be in awareness. Be on the lookout. You dig? You don't get what you want, you get who you are. So make sure you be that person that you looking for in that man. I'm giving y'all a lot of game, man. Take your time out. Write this down. Watch this episode over and understand this. Yeah. Yeah. It's the Pirates of the Caribbean. Niggas can't fuck with me, man. That boy. It's liquid cash. I need it all out in the stash. I'ma get rich or I'ma get deported Riding cross country, my four tours